Greetings, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Old World Blues, playing as that Greater San Francisco Nation. So last time, we did pretty well taking out more of California, Wood Lake, Scorpions, the hub, but right now, we're currently in a war with the people from the ruins of Los Angeles, the Boneyard. So, I uh, restarted the game, of course. Yesterday, this was a glitch, but now, surprisingly, we have about 400 casualties. That's it, so far. We've lost 400, and they've lost almost 7,000. That's insane. But let's keep it up and continue defending against the Boneyard Menace. And honestly, this is re really looking not too bad for us. Uh, I think we said last time they're out of manpower. So, a couple comments. For example, they still own the islands. The Boneyard still owns the islands off of the coast of California, which, thank you for the reminder about that. I... Really wasn't remembering about them, but they exist, and that's good to keep an eye on. Furthermore, there's another comment. Oh, yeah, the Gauss Rifle. That's actually Chinese. Uh, let's see, did I get that one yet? I think I did. Maybe not. Yeah, it is. I do have it. Yeah. Yeah, I do have the Gauss. Well, that's close enough to the Gauss Rifle. It's a mass driver, but you know what, whatever. Uh, oh, are you guys attacking and winning? Yes, please. But... I'm doing pretty well. Hope you guys are having a great day. After this Boneyard, we might want to settle down a little bit, get a little more manpower, uh, conscript some more people, and then maybe go for the Confederacy of Deglo, or the... Oh, the Deglo Federation. They changed. They're no longer a Confederacy. Interesting. Oh, are you Germany? No. White, red, and blue, led by the Curator. Huh. That's actually really cool. That's really, really cool. Southern Expansion... The Cowboys last a yee-haw. Forming the Baja Republic. That's interesting. To hold no one state. Government staffer schools reeling in the Cowboys. That's really cool. I need to play these guys someday, like I've said before. Uh, what do we do? Oh, yeah. Intelligence with a she-i-a. Let's go ahead and do some radio interception group. We want to use our guys to build up more factories as possible. Border disputes. Arroyo has disputed the legitimacy of our border and claimed that they are the rightful owners of the land. Their leaders, the chosen one, has refused contact and does not appear willing to negotiate. Although these claims are clearly fraudulent, they may be able to go to war on this basis alone in the future, which means, um, uh, not good things. Very, very not good things. Are they in a faction? No, which is a good thing. So, which means we gotta finish this war up now. Probably. They're not that strong. They're by themselves. They're isolated, which is a good thing to see. But they have not wanted to go to war just yet. Yeah, we gotta finish this war up soon-ish. Alright, so it looks like they've stopped attacking. We lost about 600 guys. They've lost about 10,000, which is insane. Uh, I think it's time to move in. We have to make sure we take out a royal soon enough. So go ahead, guys. Doing a full frontal attack usually isn't a smart thing to do, but at this point, we could probably do okay with this. Advanced tools, very nice. Let's grab some of that as well. Doing about 43 damage. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, we're not winning everywhere, but that's okay. They have no manpower, so they can't... They pretty much can't even recover from this. From any sort of attack. And the robots are doing great. The robots are just... Just doing great. Keep them in place. Cut those guys off with where our special forces are at. They're actually not winning in some locations. That's okay. Could you guys win over here, though? Could you begin assaulting this position? Maybe. It's a definite maybe. We're doing pretty well. Can't Like I said, we can't win everywhere, but that's okay. Increasing our casualties by quite a bit, but that's seemingly... Okay, for now, replicators. Very good, very good. Eh, get some brick housing. That seems pretty nice. The Boneyard. Ah, the defenses are on the line. We get some fighters. Weather dogs clear one our lines. These guys have been sort of encircled, but not really, since they do own all these waterways, which is not ideal for us. But now, let the special forces move in. You guys should easily be able to take them out if they get no supply. But they do have some victory points still down here, which is unfortunate. But whatever. Good. Oh, we're crushing them. 16,000 have been lost. They still have more than double our divisions. And they are still losing the war. Just beautiful. Actually, if anything, you guys should take this, this guy out so we can finish destroying these divisions off. Destroy them, destroy them. Actually, do we have any ciphers? Eh, that'll be done soon enough. Actually, you know what? You might as well get started on... Stop doing that. You might as well start doing this one. There you go. There, oh, look at that. That's just... Mm, construct underground workshops. Love it. 
and a streamlined stealth production. By streamlining the production of Chinese stealth armor, we will be capable of arming more of our troops with a dreaded stealth armor than ever before. Look at that. Just, just, mmm. It warms my heart. Go and take Chima Hueva. Huevi. Ah. Stood no chance. The Boneyard stood no chance. Now we probably have a deficit of not infantry equipment or not, not bad, not bad. Our manpower really hasn't gone down either, which is a good thing too. Yeah, anything down here? Uh, Naval Base Ventura. Uh, that one or that one? I like. Uh, let's go Ventura because we did that one. We did that one first. And get some more caps. Got about a thousand. Not bad. We'd like to go to war with these guys, but I have a good feeling that the Royal still wants to kill us off. So I'm gonna throw you right there. Hmm. You know what? I could probably bait them into attacking robots. Uh, do they? Do they have? Doesn't look like they have anti-tank. We'll do this. We'll also do this. There we go. We'll try that. How are the planes? They all have missions. You guys can hold. Oh, you are not looking good, my friends. Uh, go ahead and put them on there. That's fine. I don't want to just push my entire army up north just because you never know what the Dayglow might do. So you guys, hang out down here. Have a good time. You never know. How strong are they, actually? 54 divisions, that's not bad. Definitely weaker, it looks like, than the other group we just fought. Uh, Neptune Prim, not bad either. You seven. Eh, maybe good for him, I don't know. See what happens. Ah, another robot switch. We'll get up to 24 and that'll be it, probably. Yeah, they could really use some more robots. Holy cow. Let's see. Upgrades, no, we good. Now, I'm hoping a royal goes to war with us. What did they even claim? Crescent. Just Crescent. Come on, guys. Come and take it. Come and take it off, to, off of your dead bodies. Eh, 50 days. We must take them out, then. Very good. We're gonna wait. Get some more robots first. Everything else is looking pretty good, except for our Air Force. Let's see. Merchant Spies. Why not? Good. And you know what? Since we're here, we got two guys. Come to Arroyo, and then come to... A royal as well. There's not really too much room besides an arroyo for a royal. Good. Purification stations. Do we need any more resources? No, but I do have a cup of Earl Grey tea here. Earl Grey tea. Good stuff, my friends. Oh, and you know what? You guys, go ahead and train. We don't have enough of that stuff. We can get some composites. That'll be nice. Some robotic extraction. Maybe we can improve some of our guys around here. Yeah, that's nice. Got some extra military factories. Great. Really great. Get some more of this. Definitely get some more of that. I mean, we got room for growth. Lots of room for growth. Do we need any more radar stations? Yeah, we could probably throw one up there. We could probably throw one down here as well. Uh, throw it down here just so we get as much range as possible. That'd be good. And, nope, oh, wrong one. Let's go do that one, because we can. Very good. Oh, manpower's going down. That's not ideal. Actually, yeah, we still can't change it because we can't. That's fine. Uh, wasteland pacification. Need work. Needs a lot of work. You guys can do some sporadic outposts. We're going to leave this here first. We want to make sure that this resist resistance goes down even further. Is this resistance capped yet or not? It is capped. And it's currently going down, which is nice. Wasteland pacification. I would like good. Very good. Merchant spies. Very awesome. Any partisan duties? That'd be good. Good. I mean, you guys wanted to go to war. Hopefully they take the bait and attack me. Streamline stealth production. Next up we shall do rebuild the plan because that's the last thing we can do. Oh, wait, hold on. We can maintain our cultural unity first. So, although maintaining our traditional recruitment standards have been criticized by many, a massive increase in unity and camaraderie has begun to take place within our armed forces, ensuring that they will fight tooth and nail to protect those besides them. Glorious. Awesome, awesome, awesome. More organization, which I love organization. We have getting more, getting a little bit more, getting a little bit more. Very nice. Resource-wise, our deficit of support robots is decreasing, which is good. Plus, air support is going up by quite a bit. Very good. Ooh, manpower is not looking great. And good war with Arroyo. Hmm. Shang Z Type 17. Seems like the basic one. 
Can't do anything else here, which is fine with me. Well, might as well. I mean, the cap is already here for coring states. So it's pretty much a 300, I bet, at this point. 241 for, like, small places, but, like... Oh, we got cap, cap that, too? Cool. Over here, 300. Yep, of course. 300. Uh, actually, we like to quarter that st space, but that's, that's pretty far away. Where else do we have? So, we got... Every place that doesn't have resistance or a number is cored by us already. Hmm. Yeah, Vistula would be best. Just gonna go to war, that's fine with me. They wanted it, man. They were asking for it. Are they not attacking me? Okay, well, whatever. Well, we'll attack them here. And then we'll send half of you guys up probably there. And then send another half to right there. Maybe we can make an encirclement. Liu Tian. Ah, yes, that'll be very handy for what we're about to do, because these guys are at least fighting in hills. I knew it was going to be at least hills. Are we winning? Hey man, you were being very aggressive towards me. Don't blame me if you want to be aggressive. You can't. It's just, it's not in the code. Interrogation techniques, very good. Oh. An encirclement doesn't look like a good thing right now. Uh, I'd recommend holding them in place. Well, snap, we just got encircled ourselves. Well, that sucks. But, it's not going to last that long. Actually, we beat those guys up already. Uh, you know what? Just let you guys go. How much air damage are we doing? Not enough. 20? 20. 20? Who's satisfied with only 20? How many men have we lost? 19 versus 700 some. Yeah, we gotta really cut back on the, uh... The wars. Just a little bit. Just a touch. And we're, we're massacring them, which is awesome, which I love. We're, we have a big problem with New Reno, though. We have to take them out. Probably after Dayglow. After Dayglow... Then we'll take them out. Two sons is looking pretty big, though. Ah, uh, Haroi. I know, I could just puppet them, but... Nah. Who believes in that? Yeah, these guys first. Oh, I got so much manpower. Oh, expert health fighter. Let time go on a little bit. And... Light robots. You'll defend in the north. Let's do that. See if you guys can dig in there. Uh, yeah. As well as... Y'all. That'd be good. Oh. We got some of this here. Yeah, do that. A couple more divisions, some pre-war housing. Very nice. Let's grab some of this. Good. You guys are over there. And I'm going to send you guys down south, because when we want to attack... Well, we better do an attack very well. To bop, to bop, to bop it up this way. Alright. Not bad. We could get outsider battalions. That would give us quite a bit more in that part. It doesn't make too much sense since we're pretty exclusionary. Hmm. 20% more non-core manpower would come in handy, though. Would come in handy quite a bit. We could think of them as, think of them as auxiliaries, though. Which wouldn't be, wouldn't be too bad. Alright. Planes, though. Let's see what we're we doing. Not bad. We're making some planes. we got APCs. I'm liking that quite a bit. Let's do the plan. During the Great War, the plan, or the Great PLNA, was reduced to a shadow of its once great self. If we are ever to ensure the survival of our nation, we must control the seas. The People Liberation Army's Navy, which is really weird to say, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, actually, APCs, currently our divisions, <clears throat> get 10 recon, which is impressive. And these guys get no recon. So we got to throw in some recon, because it... Cause Right now they get less. Demo teams are extremely important. Anti-tank is probably where it's at. Yeah. That'd probably be pretty good. Advanced wells. Good. Even though APCs are not the end-all be-all, we'll start making some. Cut you guys down by half. Make two at a time. Very good, very good. And let's get just a little bit more political power first. Core of state, and then just start justifying on greater day glow. Advanced generators, very nice. Just keep getting more and more and more. Look at that manpower. Yeah, that's a little troublesome. Quite a little troublesome. We get 145 a month, which isn't very much. Hmm. Oh, the apostles are looking pretty nice. Very good, very good. The she is looking pretty awesome. I mean, we've taken out the majority of California, which is very bueno. Very, very bueno. Weather dogs is looking pretty good. Look how almost horizontal they are. Blackfoot's looking pretty good. Ten signs. Some things in Mexico is going on. Twin 
mothers is there. We have the boomers stretching out pretty large. Oh, hope those one united nation. That's cool. Hmm. Yeah. We're gonna core a piece of territory first. And then we're gonna justify on the day glow. And then I'm probably gonna have to increase uh outsider battalions. That's probably what we're gonna do. Just because that's a lot of I only get five percent. Increase that by fifteen percent. That's a lot of population or recruitable population for a nation that doesn't really like outsiders, so that's pretty good. That's really pretty good. Ooh, vehicle technology, enable technology speed. That makes sense. Cool. And we are there. Let's double check. So, this looks pretty good. Can I do this tile? Yes, I can. Did we get... I guess we got nothing from that. Hmm, I was hoping for maybe like a, maybe a thousand more uh, population, but... Oh, there we go. We got a little bit more. Not really what I wanted, but you know what? It is what it is. So, let's see. Any more ships here? Yes. How many? We're making too many of the triremes. Let's, let's get some longboat hulls. Can I make these any better yet? I don't think so. Yes, I can. Light deck weaponry, point defense. Twin HMGs. We can do that. There you go. Only make one. Uh, I clicked on the wrong thing. Bop, bop. Come to Concord. Eh, that's okay. That's fine. It, that one doesn't really matter too much. What are we missing for resources? Composite materials? Ooh. Let's make sure we build up like some of these areas here. That'd be pretty important. Good time to go on. Get them more political power. resources, make sure we can speed through certain areas. Rebuild the San Jose Dockyard. Yeah, let's do that one. So, the San Jose Dockyard is in a state of complete dis disrepair, but with a little bit of engineering, we should be able to be capable of getting the dockyards to a pre-war state of production. Very good. Defenses are online. Great. Let's also grab Restore Naval Weapon Station Seal Beach. Very good. Very very good. Alright, so how much is it going to take for me to go to war with these guys? Because basically, I think the plan here for me at this point is for me to just basically go until we're, we run out of manpower. That's probably my approach with this. we got a lot of factories. Holy cow. That's a ton of factorinos. Uh, if you want to do that, do that and that. There you go. And... Oh yeah, we definitely need everybody's down here before we do anything. Radar station, looking pretty decent. Pretty darn decent. There you go. Now they do have a puppet, but probably the yeah the Baja State. Which how is the Baja State? Never seen that before. Nathan Bates. Fifty nine. All right, all right. It is what it is. Very cool, very cool. They might naval invade us, which would not be very nice. But it is what it is. Oh yeah, help the settlements. Now how much do we get a month? We get lightweight metals. No, one hundred sixty three. Still not that much. But that's all right. All right, so we could probably move on from gliders. Maybe get some biplane fighters. There we go. We can go to war if we want to. Go to war by November seventeenth, which looks pretty good. Ah, we need composite materials for this. Well, I guess that makes sense. You can make some more of these if you want. Make some more of this. This doesn't cost us too much. Wow, I need to make more uh, advanced special kits. Make some more of that. Definitely make more of this. Doggos. We got plenty of room for improving ourselves. Plenty of room. Oh, I'll grab some of that, yeah. Making military factories, which is nice. And... Do we have an airbase? Yes, we do. Oh, my goodness. Perfect. Uh, select half of you guys. Come here. And the other half. Come into the infantry. This is a lot of planes. Well for special attack, plus ground attack. You can go and do that, it doesn't really matter to me. All right, let's see, how much manpower are we gonna lose in this war before we do that? How big is our navy? The navy has eight battle cruisers, which isn't very good for us. Go, ahead and tr well, go home and repair first. Go to war by November 17th, which is nice. 17th, 17th, 17th. 
make two... Man, we really need to focus more on screens. Holy crud. That's a little bit more balanced. There you go. And... You guys should be able to do something like that. Rebuild the San Jose Dockyards. Let's get some pre- or secure pre-war maps to ensure our ships are capable of navigating the choppy waters of the wasteland. We must st carefully study pre-war maps of the western seaboard, which gives us quite a bit more naval range factor. Not bad, not bad. And I guess it is time for us to have a great time with these folks. Now, they're not attacking me, which is, I'm a little disappointed. But, you know what? Whatever. And then you guys come down here. Oh, once, the, once the battle's over. If that's the case, then happy guys there too. So you can start moving up. Happy guys moving down this way. Uh, air damage. Oh, they do have some planes. I should get some more fighters here, really. Boss, he's been called in. Makes sense. We've lost none versus 200 some. Not bad, not bad. So, I'm gonna have my guys go, like, over here. We're gonna capture the Daglo immediately. So focus down here, and that'll be great. Anti-grav engines, very cool. Let's grab some breakthrough, because that's always useful. And you guys are poised to go. You guys can both go that way. And then send happy guys to come over there. Take the port or something. Doesn't really matter to me. You should be able to win regardless, so. God, I love special forces. Especially with this armor we have. Keep one, hold. Oh, but you don't want to lose that. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Beautiful. Now we want to get the infantry in here first, make sure everything's nice and smooth, and circle, kill them all off. The usual, you know, the usual. Anything else? No? Oh, don't forget, can I sell some equipment? Yes, I can. 230 factories. Very good, my friends. Ah, and they're attacking me. Gotta love it. Alright, I'm gonna use these guys as kind of a shield, or as an enveloping unit, I guess we'll say. An enveloping unit, or army really. Engine advancements. They're doing better engine advancements. Three. Two. They're looking pretty weak. Looking pretty darn weak. Ooh, we got night bombings. I like night bombings. Grab some of that, because we want to get some fighters as well soon. And go right ahead. Rocket launchers. Beautiful. Man, we research things so fast. I love it. The she are she, the she are a lot of fun. If you've never played as a she, especially in Sweet Home California, I really would recommend it. I would really, really recommend it. That's nice, doing better on composite materials. Very good. Oh, you guys are, oh, you guys are going the wrong way. But whatever. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. How much damage are we doing? Oh, I can't click here. Casually, around 20-ish. Roughly 20. Hey, they, they all died. I love it. That's going to be pretty hard to break through. This would be pretty hard to break through as well. Um, you know what? We're going to go this away. Everyone come here? Well, actually... Liu, come here, and then go there and do that. Something like that. We should be good. Might stretch out our lines just a little bit, but that's okay. We've lost about 71 versus 13,000. It's a nice number, 13,000. It's pretty nice. They have 40 divisions left and 5,000 manpower. They're not dead enough. Cool, you guys should be good enough. Old country declare, declare war and old country believers. I still need to play this country. I've heard it's a lot of fun. I've seen a couple things about it. Man, look at our Crimson Dragoons and Emperor's Guards. Oh my goodness. <sighs> special Forces. I mean, early on, I was like, Special Forces, are they really that special? And now I'm a believer. I'm definitely a believer in Special Forces. Especially when they got God tier uh, planes. Hmm. I love close air support so much. Uh, please don't get cut off. For the love of God, please do not get cut off. That's the case. Go ahead and start pushing them in. Oh, what happened to the what happened to the regular infantry? You know what? You guys get down here. They all abandoned the line here. Um. No, yeah, that's the case. Just go ahead if you want to abandon the line. Whatever. Just please don't get encircled. And you got encircled. I just said don't get encircled. Nice. Let's go get the next one. Good. And we have done what? Have we freed them? Have we not freed them? There you go. Come up that way. Get the infantry in here too and just tell them to go ahead. Crush them. Don't let them spread out too much. There you go. Now it's an encirclement. Very good. Very good. 
All that matters is that they die. One more robot, please. Just one more, and maybe another Crimson Dragoon. Oh, yeah. Now oh, that's nice. Oh, I should be really look at my manpower maybe a little bit more. 175, very good. If you guys get a little more organized, just go ahead. They don't have that many guys on the line. The infantry is doing a great job, even though it's pretty difficult down here. Secure pre-war maps. Let's have the mainland expedition. We have one last stop before reaching the homeland. Taiwan acted as a front line of the Chinese defensive web before the United States Gobi Desert campaign. It will, without a doubt, give us insight on the situation on the mainland. We're heading to China, my friends. We go to China. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and do this. I, I know it doesn't make that much sense, but let's get some aug outsider auxiliaries. We instantly got like 500 more manpower, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Wish we got more, but we'll basically double that soon. Nice. Very good. Very good. Let's get some gliders here, too. So you... Every little army group we have is going to get it, so... And boom! Should be enough coverage for a while. Alright. Just come on in to Los Algodones. Ah. And next up, in a little bit, will be... New Reno, because they own a little bit of California. We've even expanded past California. California, China. What could be better than that? Go ahead and train if you need to. Next up, hmm, hmm. I'm going to pull you out, actually, because you guys are all going to form one big old line right here, because we're going to need it. Special forces? Well, you can probably stay right there. That'll be good. Up top, we got good guys right there. You are right there as well, which is awesome. Awesome, 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 possum. A little bit ahead of time, but 69 days. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. A little more manpower. Or maybe a little bit less. Let's see. Spread outfit. Shady Sands Republic is almost done. Wasteland pacification for the hub is done. Good. Lots of wasteland. Lots of pacification. I really wish we got more political power as the she. I think that would have worked out a lot better for us. But, you know, what it is what it is. Gonna do that too. Get less than a thousand manpower. All right, all right. Let's see. Grab some of this because we're going to need it. Another light robot division. Good, we're done with light robots then. And we're going to begin retiring them probably soon enough. And what do we have here? Flamethrowers. What are we missing? We're not making any of this? Go ahead and make it like five, maybe? Maybe five? What do we got here? Not too much. Maybe build up a few more military factories, perhaps? Yes? Yes? Advanced cooling systems, grab some of that, that'd be nice. Yeah, we really need to work on our manpower. Maybe I should have grabbed the other thing of manpower boost, but... I don't know. I'll probably choose that if I ever play this mod again as the she, so we'll see what happens. We never know what happens in the future. We're looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, we're looking pretty darn good. This is a lot of guys over here. This group's gonna need quite the air force to deal with these guys. And there goes my manpower. Go figure. There you go. Ah, the Eastern Expedition. After a massive ceremony, our great fleet departed the Bay of San Francisco with the hopes of reaching the People's Republic of China so we can finally discover the fate of our ancestral home. I'm hoping that we get, like, manpower back. But whatever. The first stop on our great eastern expedition is to reach the islands of Hawaii where we can hopefully find enough provisions to continue our journey to our home. Yes. And let's go ahead and grab this. Because I need that extra manpower. That just gave us 2,000 manpower off the bat. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I went this way, because we need the manpower. And the defenses are online. I love it. And let's do restore the songs. That sounds awesome. That sounds really, really awesome. So some equipment, because... Restoring places costs money. So let's spend a little bit of time, maybe getting a little bit more manpower, getting a little more political power, getting some monoplane fighters, getting some of this, getting some of that. The good stuff, you know. The good stuff. And drink a little bit more tea. Hmm. We're good in composite materials. That's awesome. We're building stuff up like crazy. We're researching stuff like crazy. We get some, maybe some jet fighters as well. I think so. Let's see. Advanced aquifer. Good. Good. Yeah, 20 more 
days. Map power maybe up slightly and then goes back down. We have had more than enough stability and war support for this entire campaign so far, which is really, really nice. Uh, yeah, go that's fine. But go and train uh, auto injectors. Awesome. Get some more of that too because we're going to need those guys. We're going to need them best injectors. Good. Does anyone else need to train at all? Probably not. I mean, maybe a little bit, but not too bad. Can't imagine New Reno would have a massive navy either. They barely have no, a port. All right. This is the case. We're going to core one more territory. Ooh, this is going to cost me a lot of guys. Eh, go down to one. One at a time. This will be the last submarine defense force as well. Heavy robots. Well, we're not really thinking about that. So, I'm thinking here. This is a lot of guys we gotta fight. Hmm. I really don't want to push this campaign too far. Just because we don't have a ton of manpower. I will play as a she again someday. This might be the last episode, actually. Oh, the troll weren't killing the 80s. Interesting. Very interesting. My biggest problem is probably that we just don't get enough political power. That's probably it. I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. So you guys stop training, stop training. Actually, you know what? They can... You know what, let him just, just let him continue training. You know, and I will see you when we can go to war with New Reno. Alright guys, so I sort of lied. Really, I just had to use the restroom. Anyways, so, the Hawaiian Islands. The Admiral of the Expeditionary Fleet has reported that they have reached the island of Honolulu, and what they have reported is truly terrifying. The entire landscape of the island has been flattened, and radiation levels are unusually high around much of the island, and it would appear that it is completely devoid of life. But, it would also appear that the Americans' anti- ICBM system successfully destroyed several of the nuclear warheads that were headed towards Pearl Harbor, allowing our fleet to successfully loot the facility and find enough fusion cores to continue the expedition eastward, as well as a cargo ship filled with the United States power armor, suits that were sent to be shipped to the Gobi Desert. Oh, that's cool. So, my apologies about that. I had to use the restroom, pretty much, and we still need to finish these focuses. From what our records state, it appears that Japan was a major war zone that, during the Sino-American War, was partially occupied by our ancestors. Reaching the islands or isles of Japan will help us give insight on the situation of the mainland. So, yes. I'm really thinking here. We have... Yeah, that's why I didn't... That's why I chose, you know what? Let's just resume, just because we still have a long time before we go to war with New Reno. They have a good amount of manpower. Tons of divisions though, wow. Preemptive interception, that'll come in handy. Uh, let's grab some more reliability for our special forces. We're gonna get some organic processors, which will be very good for us. Hmm. Oh man, yeah. These guys are definitely not gonna withstand the attack up here. Get some assaultrons in. Good. Ah, more special forces. This will be the great, because these guys should be able to bust into there, but we'll see what happens. We really need more planes, though. Ooh. Go ahead and just get give me 200 gliders and then 100 more fighters, because then I'm going to have you guys just train. Dot, dot, dot. Well, dot, dot. Train. Fuel injection, very good. <clears throat> I guess we get the Jean... Uh, yeah, actually, Jean fighters would be really good, so that way we can get... Just the best fighters in the game, pretty much. Let's see, vehicles, supply use. That looks pretty good. I like less supply use. That'd be awesome. With this drills, very nice, very nice. The Jap Japanese expedition. I really want to know what happened to Japan. Yeah, these guys, hmm, that's a lot of attacks. We're gonna suffer. I mean, these other twenty combo with what? How well are they dug in? What's their, uh... Entrenchment is zero. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Got another division. That's cool. It's good, good, good. Ah, jet fighters. Lovely. Wang Highway. Gun nut. Robotic factor. Eh, since we got some infantry, we'll use them there, too. Uh, oh, nuclear jet fighter. That'd be kind of cool. Let's do that. More air defense. Smarts. Go make some jet fighters if you can. Doesn't really matter too much. Now we need some more composite materials. Hmm. Especially for jet fighters. Alright, ship-wise, we're doing okay. Another battlecruiser. We've got tons of battlecruisers. Tons and tons and tons and tons. 
I really hope we're ready for this war, because they're looking pretty mighty. Even the robots have anti-tank. So th this front up here is probably going to collapse pretty quickly. Ah, so during the Great War, the Japanese fought besides the United States, and although large swaths of the nation was occupied by our ancestors, the nation never fell. Upon reaching the shores of Japan, it became apparent that the island did not share the same fate as Honolulu, with their fleet encouraging several small fishing vessels within Japan's waters. From what our fleet relayed to us, it would appear that Japan is split between several warring factions that are all looking to gain upper hand on their enemies. The arrival of a foreign force was of vast interest to the warring states, and it did not, did not take long for us to sign several trade agreements between San Francisco and Japan. Wow, the Japan route, holy cow. And reaching the mainland with the... With the mainland just months away, it is time to, we decide where our expedition will be landing and what the goals of this expedition will be. That's really awesome. That's really, really awesome. How much longer will we have to wait for this? Uh, about a month. That's cool. We'll do that, about a month. About a month, which isn't too bad. Let's see. I mean, our guys are pretty much ready to go. I mean, it's that one division could train for now. I'm just really worried about these robots. We don't have a ton of manpower. We can maybe make these guys just a little bigger. Just even though support robots or light robots aren't really that useful. I'm also throw them on there. They're going to get pierced anyways. Oh, we're out of army XP, so. And now we have quite the deficit of these guys. Behemoths. We probably don't need behemoths, which is fine. Plenty of infantry equipment, though. Let's see. Come over here. Alright, maybe build a few more military factories because we definitely, definitely gonna need them. Putting up tons of infrastructure. There you go. Which I love infrastructure. Uh, advanced power plants, very good. Quite a few years ahead of time, but it's only 270 days ahead of time. That's not bad. That's really not too bad. Uh, anything else here? Sell some outdated equipment. Good. Good. We're almost we're restoring the songs. That's awesome. And we should be able to go to war very, very soon. Yes, very, very soon. Hmm. Oh, actually, before we do that, how is... It's not bad. Here we go. Do that. Go ahead and do that. Get some pacification. Getting a little bit more manpower back. Just a tiny bit more. Not too very much. That's okay. Field maintenance training. Awesome. Let's get better... Special forces, let's see, let's just get some convoys, get some more military factories, that'd be nice right there. Nice, you just build that up quite a bit, and you know what? This is probably a really bad idea. Let's go to war and see what happens. Do we have an airbase around here? No, we don't, that's a bad idea for me. Build up airbases, build, 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 build. Uh, Rob Co. support, you guys are doing pilot exercises, another 100 planes. Will come in handy quite a bit. You guys can stop doing that. That, that, that. Definitely need you there. Get that airbase built, and then we'll go to war and see what happens. iBots, sure. Do we have an airbase yet? Their airbases are really quick to build, which is very, very nice. Look at that manpower. Beautiful. Hmm. Oh, and you guys stop training too. Get that organization up. We gonna need it. Radioactive material leaked. Oh, so, upon reaching the shores of Shanghai, the crew knew that something was wrong. The skies became dark and the air became difficult to breathe. However, as we began to dock within the Shanghai Harbor, we saw the true terror of the Great War. Although the U.S. was hit hard and will likely never return to pre pre-war form, China was nothing more than a hellish landscape, and in the months that we spent surveying the mainland, our forces discovered nothing more than heavily mutated wastelanders living in squalor in a reconnaissance plains, reporting nothing but craters for hundreds of miles. Wow. The People's Republic is no more. Our mainland is no more. We will do whatever it takes to ensure that San Francisco never suffers the same fate. So we get attacked on defense on core territory. Hey, we get more population! Awesome! That's exactly what we wanted there. Uh, let's see. Nice. And that's... Is that the last... That was the last focus. I guess it's time to get some more uh, political power. Manpower. Basically, same thing. In my opinion, right here, right now. We're gonna take you, and we're gonna need you to, like, defend the heck out of this place. Yeah, might as well do that. Alright, well, it's do or die time. We're probably gonna die time, though. We're probably gonna end up in the ground. But we have a growing amount of manpower, and let's see what happens. They immediately start wailing on us, and we are struggling, but we're doing kind of okay ish. Doing some damage there, doing tons of damage there. Okay ish, in the middle, they got a lot of planes, so. 
And right now we have suffered, well, we've killed off about almost 2,000 of them. Not bad, not bad initially. Additional storage. Salvage APCs? Sure, why not? Look at that. Oh, boy, man, they are attacking us something fierce. Can they pierce us? Of course they can. But, eh, even the robots aren't great on defense, they're still doing pretty okay. We've already killed off 6,000. So, to me, it looks like they have just used up all their extra manpower. Yep, they're, they're done. They're done. Oh, you guys can probably just go on in then. Please don't get encircled, though. Hmm. Alright, well, it's time for our guys to attack, I suppose. And it's time to attack back. New Reno usually is kind of a problem because they can be very... We just killed 4,000 as I was talking. Another 1,000. Holy cow. We lost about 1,000 ourselves. Hey, an encirclement. I love these things. Now, here, I guess this, this will be the last episode in this campaign. Just because, first of all, manpower is going to be an issue, but... In the long run, I mean, I could play this until, like, the year 2300. It's 2283. We could do that. We could spend a lot of time just doing that, but... The focus tree is done. I would just be coring just states to get a little bit more manpower each time. So, there's not a whole lot more to do in this campaign. If I When I play as a she again, I will make it a full Wasteland Conquest. I kind of wanted to do that at the beginning of this campaign, but... I don't know, I just wanted a little taste of the she, if you know what I mean. You know, catch my drift. Uh, the she are a lot of fun, but... There's not much to do now. There really is not much a lot to do. I mean, it's not like the... A royal focus tree where he became, uh, you know, basically Cascadia, which was a lot of fun, which made you made you pretty overpowered, to be honest. But yeah, I'm thinking with California all under us, I think that's a pretty good place to stop. And we even expanded past a little bit of California. We're going to take New Reno. We're going to we've taken a little tiny bit of Mexico. We got all of Baja California. We took a little bit of uh, Arizona as well. So I'm thinking this is probably a great place to stop this campaign, just because. We just be end up in just taking everyone else out. So, but we're almost done. We're almost there. A thousand, fifteen hundred versus. I swear, if you've never played as a sheep, you gotta play as a sheep. We just did fifty thousand casualties towards them right there. Fifty thousand. That's insane. Nice. We're gonna get two point two political power day, which is pretty good. Just. I mean, I've had better casualty ratios. Two thousand basically versus fifty four thousand. You've got to try the sheet. But, like I said, you know, there's not much else to do in this campaign. I liked reading about, like, what happened to China, according to the mod creator here. I thought that was really cool. It's basically a wasteland. It looks like the moon. China is the moon at this point. It's pilot promoted. I should have, I should have seen how much air damage we were doing here. Ah, they got some planes. That's, that's, that's a good defense. They got some good defense. We're doing, like, 37 damage still. That's, that's still pretty awesome, not going to lie. That's still pretty darn awesome. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this, too. Eh, it didn't really matter. The spy system really doesn't matter too much here. A victory all of the Shi will remember. And they're literally just dying here. 60,000. Good. Shot down the mouse. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Go ahead and do that. Eh, it doesn't matter at this point. Fighters. Cool. We need that, too. That's fine. Awesome. It's just awesome. The Shi can be very, very strong. Awesome, beautiful. Uh, they have less than half their divisions, or about half their divisions than where, where, than where they started, which is great. And slowly we shall terminate them all. Oh, I did not have my robots attacking yet. That's a big old thing of soldiers that are not using their planes yet. Just, when you get these attack planes, I mean, it's just so good. It's just so good. And we're almost there. Now they've lost in half their divisions. They've lost 71,000. We've lost 3,000 probably. No, 2,100. Just... And I'm only using these light robots. It's... This is the power of close air support. Nothing can beat it. Just nothing. Oh, yeah. Even... They, oh, they can't even pierce me now. Love it. Uh, distribute the boys. And New Reno is gone. All of California is now under us, my friends. But like I said before, I mean, 
I guess California is a good place to stop for this campaign. I mean, there's not much else we can do. We have 10,000 manpower. It just would be me for the next few days just clearing out the wastes just because we could, which is okay. I can do that in some campaigns, but not every campaign. But most importantly, I hope you enjoyed this campaign because I did. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow when we start a new campaign. And there's also Kingdom of Utah. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.